on me say yeah I know you're the kind of awesome wonders I've tasted of your power oh on me say yeah I know you're the kind of awesome wonders I've tasted of your power Hey, the words you speak turns things around. Your stretch arm has lifted me. You took the pain and broke the chain that held me bound. Oh, oh, Onisha, Iyanu. You're the God of awesome wonders. I tasted of your power. Oh, 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 Nisha, Yanu. You have shown me so much mercy. Much more than I deserve. The words you speak turn things around. Your outstretched hands has lifted me. You took the pain and broke the chain that held me bound. Oh, oh, oh. And he said, yeah, no. You're the God of awesome wonders. I tasted of your powers. Hey, on he said, yeah, no. You have shown me so much mercy, much more than I deserve. The words you speak turn things around. Your outstretched hands has lifted me. You took the pain and broke the chain that held me back. Oh, Onisha, Yanu, you're the God of awesome wonders. I've tasted of your power. The words you speak turn things around. Your outstretched hands has lifted me. You took the pain and broke the chains. That held me back. Oh. Greetings, everybody. Welcome once again. It's your favorite program of chapter A. On your way to know who we are in Christ, the poet possess, the things we can and cannot do, we should or should not do so that we can live a successful Christian life here on earth and end up spending eternity with God in heaven. Heaven in view, that's the whole idea. And yes, while we're at it, we create a King James Version audio Bible so that you can listen and grow your faith. And then we study the word of God together. We also celebrate birthdays so you can be the next person who gets celebrated on a chapter a day. We get to know who we are in Christ, the power we possess, the things we can and cannot do so that we can live a successful Christian life here on earth. Heaven in view. That's the whole idea. Oh! Chubs, welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my God, I've missed you. It's been like forever. Like, where have you been? I actually got to your life like two days ago or three days ago, but you are not there. You were on a party live, but you are not there. Oh my God, it's been so, so long. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing great. Thanks for the stickers. Thanks for everything that you sent to us today. Okay, guys, our Bible party is taken from the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 11, and he has 25 verses. Yep, Ezekiel 11, and he has 25 verses. So let's get with all what we have to do for today before we get to the Bible party. Yay! Evangelist in favor is in the building today. Ain't he blessed to have you? Oh my God, we are super duper uper blessed to have you. Oh my God. We are so blessed. Thank you for coming. We do not take that for granted. Hi, Habib. Hi, everybody. Hi to everyone who is connected. So we always hand over the session to God. After we're done handing over the session to God, we do the birthday party. Like I said, you can put your birthday in the comment section 
or you find our contact details or you send it to us through inbox or wherever you're comfortable with. You can send us your birthday. We'll put it in the birthday book and then we will have you celebrated when the time comes. Hi, Hi Cleo Scarlet. Wow. Scarlet. That's an interesting name, though. So let's pray. And I will thank you for this day that you've made. We rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for your faithfulness, your loving kindness, your tender mercies. We thank you for all that you've done, you're doing, and you're still to do in our lives. Because in everything, you work for good to them that love and serve you and are called according to your purpose. We give you all the praise, all the honor, and adoration because you deserve it. Father, speak to us today again in a very special way. Answer those innate heart desires. You said, the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut short. Everyone who has come here today with an expectation, Lord, let that expectation be met beyond their wildest imaginations. You said we should call on you and you answer us and show us great and mighty things which you've never known. Let that become a practical reality in the lives of those who are connected here today. Lord, we say thank you. Take all the glory, but now forevermore, because you deserve it. Lord, let it be you and you alone that will be seen, felt, heard, and experienced throughout this edition of a chapter a day. Be the focus, be the center of it all. Yes, Lord, we hand it all over to you. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering us. For in Jesus' mighty and blessed name, we're with thanksgiving. And all the saints shall say, Jainamus, Amen. Amen and amen. An evangelist favor says, Hi, princess. Let's see. Small stable network on the go. Let's see how long it lasts. Ah, I pray it lasts as long as we are doing a chapter a day. That is my desire, and I pray that it works. Okay. And all the saints just said a dynamite amen. So let's get to the birthday party. Today we have just one person, and it's in the person of Ma'am Vivian Weber, a.k.a. Vianna. I got to know as well on YouTube. When we were trying to get our YouTube channels monetized, we got to connect with each other, and she really helped me a lot because that, the, that's one of the persons that connected me to a group of amazing other ladies that we got to be able to help and support each other so that we can get our YouTube channels monetized. YouTube channel that got monetized, and then the Lord gave me work to do and so I abandoned it. <laughs> and people think me crazy and weird for doing that, right? But you know, the things of God are actually always like strange or interestingly weird. But God knows why he does the things that he does. So let's just keep going. Man Vivian is also um, a, a fitness coach. You know, she also has a, I think, a fitness um Fitness gadget line, like she sells a lot of things that people use for fitness bases, um, all these, um, how do they call those things again? I've forgotten the names of the things, but if you follow her, if you follow her for a very long time, if you follow her for a very long time, you're going to realize that she's really um, an amazing person when it comes to health and fitness journey. A lot of people have had this, you know, great experience and great testimonies, you know, about what she does and all those kinds of things. So please follow her on her social media platform. She's on, she has a Facebook page called um, Beauty, Vienna's Beauty, something like that. I think so. So please follow her and get all the amazing, amazing things that she does health and fitness tips. I think she also has a clothing line or something. I don't know exactly like perfectly, but she does. Okay. So guys, thank you so much. Tubes. God bless you. Have a great day too. Okay. That's the, the, the one and only person who has a birthday today. She's an amazing, amazing, amazing lady. She has her before and after, you know, it's good. You know, they always say this thing, um, Nigerians will say, follow who's Abi wrote, Abi. So she knows when it comes to that one of like before and afters and how to take care of yourself, how to take care of your health, the kind of exercises you should get on, the kind of meals you should take, you know, she has a lot in that area and she does it. <laughs> Beauty do very plenty, plenty things. So I beg, they're very pretty, pretty people on here. And the pretty people teach others how to be pretty themselves. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Welcome, Big Brother, Serial CY. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. We are glad to have you on a chapter at eight today. And we hope that you're having a great time and you're also, God is also blessing you in every single way that he can and he should in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, so that's the one person who is on our birthday book today. You can also send your birthday so we we'll celebrate you whenever your birthday is, okay? So, you know the drill. After we do the birthday prayer, after we do the birthday shout out and all, we actually do the birthday prayer, right? We pray for the people who were born on that particular day. So we are praying for every single person born today. It's not only Mom Diana was born today. You get the drill, right? A lot more people are born today than just her. But we're going to use her as point of contact because she's in our birthday book. That's how it works. So we use the people who are in the birthday book as point of contact to pray for every single person who is born on a particular day. That's how we do it. Okay. Hope you understand the drill. So it's not like you now start saying, Oh, okay. They're not praying for me because my name is not in the birthday book. No, we're praying for every single person who is born today. We're praying for every single person who is born today. So if you're born today, this prayer is going up for you. Okay, this prayer what we're having right now is going up for you. And yes, for the records, we're doing Ezekiel chapter 11 for the Bible party, and it has 25 verses. And we'll be getting started with that shortly after we're done with the prayers. Okay, we pray for the birthday people, and then we get right on with the audio Bible creation. That's exactly what we do. So let's go, people. Let's go. Let's go, people. Let's go. Let's go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's come together and pray for these people so that when it's your turn as well, we're going to be able to pray for you. Let's go. But I would thank you for this day that you've made a day. I'm glad and we thank you for adding a new year to the lives of all these amazing people who are born today, oh Lord. Father, I will pray that you open the windows of heaven and pour out the choices of the blessings upon their lives. Rebuke every devourer from their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, whatever they get, let it cause them to prosper and increase on every side in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, cause them to be trailblazers, space setters, and world changers in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, help them to be able to go and conquer their world in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you're going to open doors to them that no man can shut and shut every door that is not of you. Lord, lead them to the top and teach them all that it takes to not only get to the top, but get there and stay there permanently. Lord, we pray, oh God, that you perfect all that concerns them. Give them a sound of and to the sixth state. A state of continuous laughter, singing, celebration, jubilation, and dancing. That if you try to come, they'll be here same time next year to find of all the awesome sauce things that you've done in their lives because this is going to be their best birthday yet. Divinely connect them to people and things that will cause them to be their best. And divinely disconnect them from people and things that will cause them to stagnate or retrogress. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you're going to lead them aright. Even as they're fulfilling their purpose and getting on with life, they might get to a place where they feel overwhelmed or they feel like they want to give up or back out. They'll hear a clean, loud, clear voice that's saying, this is the way, walk down in it. They will not derail, they will not stray the path, they will stay on course. And after it all, all glory will be given unto your holy name. Lord, we give you all the praise, we give you all the honor and adoration because you deserve it. Thank you, O oh God, for being a faithful father. Thank you, O oh God, for being an amazing king. We do not take all that you do for us for granted and for those who are connected to us in one way or the other. Lord, we are grateful, O oh God, that you speak to us in a very subtle and a very cool and a very sweet and a very loving way, O oh God. Father, even when you're chastising us, you show us so much love. We thank you, O oh God, for all the greatness and the awesomeness that you're about to do in the lives of these people who are born today, O oh God. Father, that their part is going to be clear. Their part is going to be excellent. It's going to be clean. It's going to be so glaring that they'll make no mistakes, but they'll get it right till the end. Father, that they'll be able to hold their crowns, that no one is going to take it away from them. They'll be a blessing in their generation and beyond. And as blessings overflow upon their lives, they'll say, <clears throat> come with us because the Lord has spoken good concerning us. And anyone who comes in contact with them will literally rub off of the blessings from their lives. Lord, we say thank you. We bless your holy name, O oh God. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. 
Let money meet money in their pockets, blessings meet blessings in their life. Favor me, favor in their lives. Even as you close them with a garment of praise, honor and favor. Lord, open their eyes to see and know those they're supposed to be destined to help us too. So they'll strategically position themselves to help these people when the time is right. And of course, you're also going to strategically position their destiny to help us around them so that when they themselves need help, help is going to be made available for them instantly. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering us. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. But hey, I love to sing the amen, so let's go. Amen, 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 amen. Let it be so. Amen, 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 amen. In their life. Amen. I say I pray. Amen. Let it be in the last till the prayers. Amen, 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 amen. With the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let it be so. Amen. In the last as we pray. Come on, come on. Amen. Mm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. In the last as we pray. God bless you all tremendously. May fill your bands with all good things and large your costs and do for you that which no man can do. Have a blast. Happy birthday. I always get to say I love you so very much, but God loves you way, way more. Je vous aime, mais je vous aime plus plus pour que moi. Joyeux anniversaire à vous tous. Okay, welcome, Mr. Sebastian. Thank you for coming. We're glad to have you. It's time for the Bible party. Are you ready? Let's create that little Bible together. Okay, so let's go. Hi, Irene Ballesteros. Thank you for coming. <laughs> and my favorite says, Sing me, Mami, they are ministerial. Happy birthday to the lady in your famous book. <laughs> Yeah, famous birthday book, Abby. It is well. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. It's Bible party time. Are you ready? Ready or not? Here I come. Ezekiel chapter 11. Moreover, the Spirit lifted me up and brought me unto the east gate of the Lord's house, which look at its wood. And behold, at the door of the gate, five and twenty men among whom I saw Jezaniah, the son of Azu, and Pelatiah, the son of Benahiah, princes of the people. Then said he unto me, Son of man, these are the men that devise mischief and give wicked counsel in the city, which say, It is not near. Let us build houses. This city is the cauldron, and we be the flesh. Therefore prophesy against them. Prophesy, O son of man. And the spirit of the Lord fell upon me and said unto me, Speak, thus saith the Lord. Thus have ye said, O house of Israel, for I know the things that come into your mind, every one of them. Ye have multiplied your slain in this city, and ye have filled the streets thereof with the slain. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God. Your slain, whom he have laid in the midst of it, they are the flesh, and this city is the cauldron, but I will bring you forth out of the midst of it. Ye have feared the sword, and I will bring a sword upon you, saith the Lord God, and I will bring you out of the midst thereof, and deliver you into the hands of strangers, and will execute judgments among you. Ye shall fall by the sword. I will judge you in the border of Israel, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. This city shall not be your cauldron, neither shall ye be the flesh in the midst thereof. But I will judge you in the border of Israel, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. For ye have not walked in my statutes, neither executed my judgments, but have done after the manners of the hidden that around about you. And it came to pass when I prophesied that Pelatiah, the son of Benahiah, died. Then fell I down upon my face and cried with a loud voice and said, 
Ah, Lord God, will thou make a full end of the remnant of Israel? Again, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man, thy brethren, even thy brethren, the men of thy kindred and all the house of Israel holy, are they unto whom the inhabitants of Jerusalem have said, Get you far from the Lord. Unto us is this land given in possession. Therefore say, so saith the Lord God, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Therefore say, so saith the Lord God, I'll even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. And they shall come thither, and they shall take away all the detestable things thereof, and all the abominations thereof from thence. And I will give them one heart, and I will put a new spirit within you, and I will take the stony heart out of their flesh, and will give them an heart of flesh that they may walk in my statutes and keep mine ordinances and do them. And they shall be my people and I will be their God. But as for them whose heart walketh after the heart of their detestable things and their abominations, I will recompense their way upon their own heads, saith the Lord God. Then did the cherubims lift up their wings and the wheels beside them. And the glory of the Lord God of Israel was over them above. And the glory of the Lord went up from the midst of the city and stood upon the mountain which is on the east side of the city. Afterwards, the Spirit took me up and brought me in a vision by the Spirit of God into Chaldea, to them of the captivity. So the vision that I had seen went up from me. Then I spake unto them of the captivity, all the things that the Lord had showed me. This is the word of the Lord, and all the saints shall say, Jainamus, thanks be to God. So everyone, what did you learn? What did you learn? What did you learn? Welcome, Mr. Eric Jimefo. Thank you for coming. We are grateful that you can always show up whenever you can even with your busy shadow. We are grateful. Thank you for always being a plus to us, for always being a blessing to us every single time you show up here, to me especially, and then to the others. I'm so grateful. God bless you for that. Okay, so God kept showing this guy, Ezekiel, everything that he's about to do to the people who do not obey, the people who do not accept the, the way out, you know, God was going to do all these things to them. He was going to deal with them. And of course, he was showing Ezekiel, the people that are causing the whole Wahala in the city. Do you know that sometimes just the stupid things that you do or the foolishness that you get involved in, it affects not only you, but many more people than you? Do you know that? This prince or whatever their names were, the son of Azul, Jezaniah, and Pelatiah, you know, these two people, they were princes, and they were the ones actually propagating and instigating evil and craziness and weirdness. They were the ones propagating it. And because they were doing this, the whole nation, because they were princes in that nation, the whole nation had to suffer. It's painful. It's sad. It's really sad that people have to continuously suffer for the things. And so when you're a leader, you have to be very careful because there are people under you and the things you do kind of has a way of affecting them. Whether you're doing it positively or negatively, it has a kind of way that it ministers to them and it affects them. So we need to be super careful like if careful was a person then we needed that person in our lives we have to be super careful 
these people were just doing anyhow and living their lives anyhow and saying that, oh, God is not there. God is not seeing all these things. They should live their lives. They should enjoy their lives. They say, as it was in the days of Noah, as it was in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. So we'll see some of those things happening in this generation. Are we surprised now? Are you not surprised if they say that all those things that were happening in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah and all those things that were happening in the days of Noah, don't we see them happening every day here? Don't we? I don't know about you, but I do see it happening every single day. I see it happening all around me. Yeah, people saying things that you cannot even fit your mind to it or your ears to it. So sad. It says, we say it is not near. Let us be asses. The city is the cauldron and we be the flesh. And then the Lord told him to prophesy against these people. I've told us time without number that you're your own prophet. You're your first prophet. So make it a habit to decree and declare good things on yourself. Make it a habit to decree and declare good things on yourself. Yeah. It is very, 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 very important. Stop making those funny confessions. Stop making those wrong confessions. It's not good though. See, some people will say it doesn't matter. It matters. It does matter. It really matters. I'm telling you the truth. It really matters. Don't let people fool you. Don't let people deceive you. It matters. It does. It matters. God wants you to speak the right things. It's the Bible that says life and death are in the power of the tongue. But I encourage you to choose life. So if you choose anything else, you'll get the rewards for whatever else you choose. But if you want life, then you need to choose life. You need to choose life. And choosing life is not just a one-off thing. Choosing life is a consistent thing that you have to keep doing it. Every single day you have to wake up choosing life. Every single day. You need to wake up choosing life. The power of life and death is in the... The power of life and death is in the power of the tongue. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And we just go ahead. We're speaking any kind of thing. We're saying any kind of thing. The world is pressuring us into saying things that we shouldn't be saying. No. Sometimes it's not really the pressure of the world. It's what was already in your heart. The Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So some of those things that you are saying, is not just that you don't really want to say them. It's pressure. It's what had been in your heart. That's what is coming out. You cannot give what you don't have. That's what they say, right? That's the English adage. You cannot give what you don't have. You don't have it. You don't have it. You don't have it, you don't have it. So whatever you have on the inside of you, if it's Christ, whether it's under pressure or whether it's under normal circumstances or whatever, it's going to be right. It's going to be right. Hi, Renalyn Jose. Thank you for coming. And then he said, so the Lord told him to prophesy. So you can prophesy to yourself. You can prophesy and cancel some things that maybe they did against you that you didn't know. They did it even without your content. We we'll pray about that. Decree great things to yourself. Decree great things to your children. Decree great things to your husband. Decree great things to your classmates. Decree, decree this great thing. Let it go all around. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. And Mama Evangelist's favor says, yesterday my son made a shady declaration on his WhatsApp status and I immediately rebuked it. I prayed and followed up until we spoke and I got him to cancel that confession aloud and say a more, a more than conqueror confession. That is beautiful. That is lovely. We cannot allow now and say, oh, he has already made the confession. Now what can we do? Ah, there's so much we can do. Counter. 
We do a counter. She is not for bother. They do a lay retu. She they do a lay retu. Come and play your stay and then come and play my this. It's a lay retu now. So when you have done that one, you do counter attack. Destroy. Them. Destroy it. Let your positive now destroy the negative that you have confessed. So that was a good one. That was a good one, Mr. Mark. That was a very good one. Follow up. Oh, they, eh, they're just kids. They're playing. Just let them be. You know, they're saying some kinds of things that are not supposed to be saying. No, no, no. Just let them be. No, don't just let them be. The enemy is not joking. He's not goofing around. He didn't come to play. So because he didn't come to play, we too, we didn't come to play. We're ready. We're ready. We also didn't come to play. We didn't come to play. And then he says, prophesy against them. And thus the spirit of the Lord came upon me. Sometimes, eh, you want to say something, so you want to do something that the Lord has assigned you to do. You're scared, you're worried, you're trying to figure out the best way to, and boom, the Holy Spirit just gives it to you. How is that possible? The spirit of the Lord fell upon him and gave him what to speak. Sometimes you're going to a place, you don't even know what you have to say. Or you've prepared whatever you have to say and you reach there and the Lord changes the message. That's how dynamic the Lord is so. Oh yes. That's how sovereign the Lord is. That's how awesome the Lord is. May the good Lord help us in Jesus' name. Ye mortals, you are slain in the city, and ye have filled the streets thereof with the slain. Therefore, thus say the Lord God, your slain whom ye have made in the midst of it. They are the flesh, and this city is the cauldron, but I will bring you forth out of the midst of it. So all the things that you have feared are the things that are going to be happening to you. When you don't stay under the canopy of Jesus Christ, when you move away from the covering of God, all those things that you've been working hard for, they'll be there. But at some level of payment or price, it says, and ye shall know that I am the Lord, for ye have not walked in my stages, neither executed my judgment, but have done after the matter of the heathens that are round about you. Sometimes the world can drown us out of our vision, out of our purpose. Let's not get it twisted. Let's not get it twisted. Lord, I pray that you're going to help us to be able to know what you want us to do, when you want us to do it, and we're going to step on it. We're going to escape your wrath in the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to, we are going to just get it perfectly. Because you want us to, And he shall know that I am the Lord, for he have not walked in my stages, neither executed my judgments, but have done after the manner of the heathen that are round about you. And you want the heathen to get to know God and all that they know about you, round about you, seem to be lies. Yeah. It all seems to be lies. Well, that's by the way. Sorry, guys. I thought I brought water here. I really need to drink water. Okay. And it came to pass when I prophesied that Pelatiah, the son of Benahiah, died. Then fell I down onto my face and cried with a loud voice and said, Ah, Lord God. Will thou make a full end of the remnant of Israel? Was Pelatiah one of the remnant of Israel? 
it's just a cry. He was just overwhelmed. A lot of people have been dying and all, and then the princes keep dying. And of course, we know that when when these people die, as many of them as they do, we'll be having the feeling like, oh, you're alone. We'll be having the feeling like nobody's concerned, nobody cares, nobody's going to help you. But well, you'll be amazed. You'll be amazed at how people can be so willing, so willing to go all out for you because the Lord has chosen them to do so. But if you don't obey, if you're following your own part, if you're following your own way, you just might not. You just might not get it right. Say, so therefore, Thus say the Lord, I'll again gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where he had been scattered. No. Son of man, thy brethren, even thy brethren, the men of thy kindred, and all the house of Israel, holy, are they unto whom the inhabitants of Jerusalem say, Get you far from the Lord. Unto us is this land given in possession. No. You're not going to do it your way. You're not going to do it the human way. You're not going to do it the way people think it or the way people want you to. You're going to do it the God way. Yes, you will do it the God way. Whether you like it or not, you will do it the God way. It says, Therefore say, Therefore say, Thus say the Lord God, Although I have cast them off, from the hidden, although I have scattered them among the countries, yet I will be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall go. See, you can be the only safe person in the country. It's very possible. It's very, very possible. You can. Father, we pray, oh God, that you do marvelous. I you do awesome in the lives of these people. And it says, God is the one who allowed them to be scattered and God is the one who is going to bring them back together. Isn't that an awesome God? That's an awesome God. That he will help you he will help you in every area of your life so that you'll be able to connect with the people you have everything to be connected to as God leads you. May the good Lord lead you right. May the Almighty God lead you right. Therefore say, Thus saith the Lord God, I'll even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the country. So he said, when the time is right and they have to go back to Israel, he will take them back to Israel. But for now, they have to go through their sanction process. They have to go through whatever they have to go through. They have to suffer the consequences of whatever decisions they took or whatever foolishness that they were involved in. They have to take decisions. Therefore say, and they shall come thither, and they shall take away all the indestructible things, gather thereof, and all the abominations thereof. I'll give them, and I'll give them one heart. And I'll put a new spirit and I'll give them one heart and I'll put a new spirit within you and I'll take the stony heart out of their flesh and I'll give them a heart of flesh the time is coming hi my heart welcome 
that's my earnest prayer. That like my super earnest prayer that I should get to a point where I can be a blessing to people that are close to me, to people that I might care, to people that are connected to me one way or the other. Yeah. That they may walk in my statutes. Create in me a clean heart. Purify me. Purify me. Create in me a clean heart so that I may worship you. And I'll give them one eye. And I'll put a new And I'll create a new heart. Some of us, our hearts are very stony. The word of God is coming and nothing is happening. But when God himself shows up to qualify, when God himself shows up to say, yes, this is it, then yes, that is it. It says that they may walk in my status and keep my ordinances and do them. And they shall be my people and I will be their God. God wants to be our God, but you have to be desirous to be his person. You have to be desirous to be his people. Like you have to do all the things and then get stuck at some point. May the good Lord help us. May the good Lord truly help us. But as for them whose heart walked after the heart of the detestable things and their abominations, I will recompense the way of their own way. I love that so much that the Lord, in spite of him seeing, in spite of him seeming angry, seeming anger with his people, is still assuring them as if we will just repent. He'll give us a new heart. And he will change those hearts of stones into hearts of flesh. I'm telling you, that's God for you. He's chastising and correcting with this hand and then pampering and blowing with this other. That's how amazing God can be. Very, very amazing. He's loving you. He's correcting you. In a loving way. He's correcting you in a way that can bring you to your place of vulnerability and not being ashamed and not being afraid. Yes. God is that good. God is extremely good. God is beyond good. He's just outright awesome. That's how much he loves us. Oh. How he loves me so. How he loves me. How he loves me so. Oh, oh, oh. How he loves me so. How he loves me. How he loves me so, so much. God loves me so, so much. So everybody will get the recompense for whatever they choose. If you choose God, fine. If you choose to walk out over with the abominations and over the detestable things, you will get your due reward. It says, um, then did the cherubims lift up their wings and say it, their wings and the wheels beside them. And the glory of the God of Israel was over them above. And the glory of the Lord went up from the midst of the city and stood upon the mountain, which is. 
on the east side of the city. Afterward, the spirit took me up and brought me in a vision by the spirit of God into Chaldea to them of the captivity so that the vision that I had seen I'd seen up from me, nor I spake unto them of the city of all things that the Lord had shewed me. Like I said, the Lord will always make a way, a way of escape. So we have no excuse as to why we're not doing the things that we're doing or we're not where God wants us to be because sometimes he will give us that way of escape. Well, you know what the problem is most times? We're so focused on the problems that we don't see the real deal. We are always so focused on the problem. May this time and this day be in a special, special way that will be loved in Cherish that we'll get to a place where we so love God, we're so intimate with God that it doesn't matter what He will have us do. Even if it's going to some interior village when you feel like, no, ah, God, even this place where I am, or some kind of small village, and then He's telling you to go to a smaller, 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 smallest. And you're like, God, no play for you. No play, you can't play with that. Let God help us. May the good Lord help us. That we are going to be so, so, I mean, drawn to him that all our lives, everything we do, everything we ask, everything we desire is just going to be God. It's just going to be in sync with God's will for our lives. Sometimes we have a difficulty we live in the God life because our desires are not in sync with what God desires for us. And the only way that we can get in sync is when we study the word of God and then we pray and commune with God over and over and over again. Yes. That's how it works. So people... Please, while we're at it, while we're serving God, while we're doing the things that we want God to do for us, let's be steadfast. Let's not be weary. Let's keep doing whatever it is we're doing. Because you know, because you know, God really loves us. God really loves us. Father, help us. Create in us a clean heart. And renew a right spirit within us. Do not cast us away from your presence. Do not take your Holy Spirit from us, Father. Restore unto us the joy of salvation and renew a right spirit within us. Create in us a clean heart, O Lord. And renew that rapport. Renew, renew it. Renew it. Lord, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration because you deserve it. We will you help us in Jesus' name. Father, open the windows of heaven. Pour out the churches of your blessing upon our lives. Cause us to become 20, 24 people. That we're going to serve God the rest of our days. That we're going to do His will. That we're going to be able to be focused and totally surrendered in the place where He wants us to be until He tells us to move. See, Lord, we know that you're here for us. Lord, we pray that you're going to empower us. You're going to give us the grace. You're going to give us the strategies, the methods, the techniques to be able to live the life that you're calling us to live this few days coming. Father, 
we worship you. We magnify you. We give you all the praise. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your word. Thank you for chastisement. Thank you for encouragement. Thank you for breakthrough. Thank you for open heavens. Thank you for all that you've done. Thank you, our Father. Father, we are grateful for how, how far you've brought us, for how much you love us, for how much you care for us, for all the awesome things that you've done for us. We are totally grateful. Be thou exalted, O God. Be thou exalted. The children all over the world, help us, O God, to be diligent. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. We have an audio Bible on all social media platforms. Please follow us on there so that you can be able to listen to the audio Bible. And of course, we are also here today wrapping up the chapter ID. Thank you, Lord God, for hearing and answering us. For in Jesus' name we pray. It's amen. Amen and amen. So guys, tomorrow is another day. It's going to be Ezekiel chapter 12. I'm hoping that you read before time. So you come back here and let's have a swell time together. That's always my desire. That's always my desire. Lord, fill us up to an overflow. That will do your will and do your bidding without even flinching. Thank you, Lord God. Because we know you always hear an answer. For in Jesus' name we pray. Let your word be engrafted on the flesh tables of our hearts so that we're going to go thereby. Our lives are going to be a perfect example of who you are. We're truly going to live for you and you alone. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Okay, people. Until tomorrow. Friday relaxation time yeah sometimes days look like relaxation time for me today was open house day we have this activity where students come from other schools to our school to see how good our school is so that they can be interested to come you know that kind of thing like when you're um, transitioning into secondary school so a lot of primary schools came here today and we had a great time together it was fun I really had fun. I played this game, Golden Fingers. It was so cool. Originally, I didn't think I could play, but then I kind of watched it for a while and then I started playing and I was just doing like boom, 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 winning like that. It was just so cool. Ciao, people. Mm -hmm.